Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So for today's video, I want to do a little bit of testing uh, with different render profiles on Caden Live and seeing how quickly each of those uh, render profiles renders out a small amount of uh, footage and accompanying music or sound. And uh, I'm also just gonna note how long it took and what the resultant file size was. So I did this uh, benchmarking process, if you will, recently and I posted it on Reddit, but I'm just gonna actually show you guys the methodology so there's no uh, no secrets here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a bit of stock video footage. I'm going to uh, just take a free bit of stock video from Pexels. And then I'm gonna go uh, free background uh, music. I'm just gonna get some music as well because usually the stock video doesn't include uh, footage. I'm gonna, just gonna grab some from Pixabay. My internet's a little bit slow because I'm currently uploading a video to YouTube. So uh, let's just check out this bit of footage here. I'm just going to use 15 seconds of uh, footage just so the renders are going to be quick for me. So this 14 second clip of a, a time lapse of clouds moving over a city. That's absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to download this clip. Now it doesn't have any sound as I mentioned. So I'm just going to download a bit of royalty free music too. Done. So I've got those two things. And finally, I'm just going to um, create a little overlay here using GIMP. Just so I'm adding a few elements into the rendering job, I'm just going to create a layer here and just have it like this, kind of like a bit of a lower third uh, situation. And I'm going to just say this is a test render project. Let's put that in white so it's going to be vis visible over the uh, lower third. And I'm just going to go now and save those three files into a folder on my desktop. And I'm just going to add these into uh, Caden Life. Okay, so I've just gone into uh, Caden Life here and I've brought in my stock footage from Pexels. Um, as you can see, there's no audio tracks. So I'm just gonna actually ungroup them and get rid of that non-existent audio. And I've got this audio uh, that I grabbed from some other website. So in total, this is going to be about a 10 second track. So I'm just gonna bring this guy all the way back here. And I just got that lower third as well. So I'm just gonna also add a little uh, in phase. I'm gonna add a little bit of out phase and now just going to see that. So uh, that's it, you know, to speed it up even more, I'm just gonna take out a little bit here. I'm just gonna actually group these guys all together. And I'm gonna, whoops, I'm going to cut here to here. Probably a smarter way to do that. So let me just see the project I'm about to export. Okay, so it's a 10 second clip. Now I'm just gonna add that fade back to the end. And I'm just going to save this project so I can make sure that I can quickly edit it and then run this through various uh, render profiles. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and uh, pointed this to the directory I want this to render. And the first one I'm going to try is just a standard MP4 uh, using the H.264 and AAC codecs. And I'm gonna just click on to more options here. I'm just gonna put the encoder speed up to the maximum. It'll go and use all four threads on my CPU. And uh, that looks like it's pretty much good to go. So here we go, render to file. And I'm just gonna time this and then see how large. You can see it's gonna be pretty quick. So it's a 10 second clip and the rendering time looks like it's going to be in the region of probably about 15 seconds. So um, I'm just gonna see how long this takes to run and then measure the resulting output. Okay, so that's just finished rendering. As you can see, it took uh, 25 seconds to run and the resulting, MP, uh, the resulting file came out to be 6.8 uh, megabits in size. So that was just using the default MP4 um, profile with the uh, encoding speed set up to maximum. Okay, so now I'm going to go for uh, one of the, I'm gonna try out the two GPU testing render profiles. Firstly, H.264 constant bit rate or CBR rendering. Then I'm going to do the variable bit, variable bit rate rendering. Then I'm going to do the H.265 uh, rendering. So uh, something like a little bit over 20 seconds on the first job. To compare apples with apples, I'm going to, uh, well, okay, the encoding speed is set as far as it can go. And uh, I'm going to just uh, call this actually test render underscore 
H264 underscore CBR. And now rendering. Okay, so we're already off to a uh, quicker start, 25 seconds on the first render. This looks like it's going to beat it by at least a few seconds. The next question is gonna be how big the file is gonna be. You can see it inflating over here. It's already at 15.5, uh, 23 now, and uh, two seconds left on the render. So that render profile ran in 23 seconds. So it actually only saved two seconds in the end, but you can see the file is a lot bigger. It's 30, almost 36. Uh, megabytes versus almost seven megabytes using the mp4 uh, cpu rendering profile okay so let's try the variable bitrate this time so h264 vbr and i'm just going to call this h264 underscore vbr same thing threads are on four encoder speed maximum full project rendering and you can see in the left window that the file is building five megabytes past well almost past 25 seconds, so that was actually the same as the first uh, render. It was actually listed as a custom profile, but it's basically the same as the default one. That one, the variable bit rate came in at 23 megabytes versus 36 using the constant bit rate profile. So I'm just gonna have a quick look at these clips. That's the first clip, looks fine to me. Let's, tr let's take a look at this one. And finally this. All right, so that's it so far. Let me just try uh, this time H265. Now I don't have access to either of these. These, uh, H265, and I don't need this because there's only one profile and let us render. So this looks like it's going to be the quickest is my prediction. Zapping along here, five megabytes past. And you can see all the times uh, I've had so far on the tests. Okay, that finished rendering in 22 seconds. So, so far the H265 is our winner. In terms of file size, uh, 22.3 megabytes. So that's actually pretty decent, but obviously it's uh, almost four times the size of the first one. So when you're getting into much bigger projects, you're talking about a large disk space overhead of about 400%, which is actually very, very significant to state the obvious. Um, and in terms of time saving, it wasn't really that significant uh, here. Okay, let's just try the MPEG2 this time. And I'm gonna put the encoding speed again up to uh, up to the maximum. And this is going to render me out a MPG, .mpg uh, format file. And it's typically going to be um, a bit larger than the MP4. So you can see it's inflating here uh, towards the bottom somewhere, trotting along at uh, I think this is probably gonna be about 25 seconds and it's actually fairly, so 6.8 was on the first CPU rendering profile, the MP4, and this one's going to be, let's just see in a second, finished running in 39 seconds. So that's actually been the longest render so far and that came out to be five uh, megabytes. All right, final one, I'm going to go for a um, and I don't think I can use, so this is Intel H24. I'm pretty sure I'm not able to use the VAAPI, uh, but let me just check just in case. Yeah, it's giving me an error log there. So I guess it just doesn't work on this, uh, on this particular hardware that I have on this GPU. Um, let me try finally the H264 lossless rendering profile. So this is presumably going to be a very, a, give a very big file. There's no compression here. Uh, and let's see how big or small that file is and how quickly it runs. So this is actually overriding the VAAPI file. So this is the bottom file you can see in my window that's uh, currently inflating. Relatively slow, but it's going to be the biggest of these files uh, for obvious reasons. I'm just gonna pause the video while this uh, continues to render. Okay, uh, we're getting towards the end of the rendering job here, last three seconds, ready yes. 82 megs, 92.5, probably just gonna be barely under 100, uh, 104.3. So that's basically, uh, the difference as you can see are quite significant in terms of how long each render job takes. I'm just gonna show you that screen. So 57 seconds for lossless, uh, 39 seconds for variable bit rate H264. Constant bit rate uh, was a 23 second render and that gave us a, a 35.9 megabyte file. 
and just the default mp4 profile resulted in a 6.8 megabyte file that rendered out in 25 seconds that's about it for today hope this you guys hope this video was useful and subscribe for more videos on this youtube channel